Hi Anna, my name's Peter Black. Um, I really love your channel. I love what you're doing. I've listened to a lot of the testimonials from people. Oh, I'm in London, uh, UK, 42 years old. I'm a, a classical guitar guitarist, performer, and private tutor. Um, my neck's all crimpled up because when this lockdown started, I came over in a chronic eczema. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's because I, you know, I know the seriousness of what's going on here. My system knows what's going on and it's making me sick. Um, I'm doing everything uh, myself to get better. I don't even want their medicine. You know, I've had their steroid creams before and it's not, um, it's a symptom management thing. It's not a cure. There's no cure for eczema according to them. I mean, let's face it, there's so many chronic conditions nowadays chronic because if you only treat them with pharmaceuticals of course they're chronic because you're not ever getting to the root of what's causing these things um anyway that's another story i'm absolutely disgusted angry concerned worried sad for what's going on it's obvious what's going on it's so sad for me to see how many people don't get it and i actually don't hate them they're innocently doing what they think is right, according to what they've been told, according to what they're listening to, and they're trying to do the right thing by wearing a mask or by whatever. And that's what upsets me even more about our leaders. They're abusing the good faith and innocence of people that perhaps are not ready to think for themselves or research or read between the lines or see the utter bullshit that's going on. All I can tell you, yeah, it worries me big time. It worries me big time. I've really stocked up on stuff. I don't know what the hell this winter's going to be like. Um, and I mean, to think that when the lockdown came, they closed the garden shops but kept the off license open so I can go and buy a packet of fags and a bottle of whiskey, but I can't go and buy tomato seeds to grow that in my garden. I mean, what's that got to do with health, you know? I mean, if you look at the overall figures of what's going to go on in the world in terms of food supply disruption, famines and businesses shut, what seems to not be really obvious to anyone here is that all suffering matters. All deaths matter. All suffering matters. And if we're not going to really consider the effect of millions of people losing their job, millions worldwide, absolutely tons of millions, and if we're not going to accept the pain of losing our social lives and losing our joys and all these things, then, um, you know, what's, what's it really worth? I mean, this is the thing. There's no bigger picture thing here for the government. And it's obvious what's going on here. It makes me feel sick. And i tell you one thing. If anyone wants to put a needle in my arm, I'll put a fucking bullet in my head before they get to do it. Because there's no way that I'm gonna allow this to happen to me. There's no way. And to be honest, I'm ready to start joining up with people. I'm ready to start protesting because I ain't accepting this shit. The fact is, we've got a beautiful planet and inside the heart of a human being is love. And we're taught to hate, we're taught division, we're taught that, we're taught about war. You know, we're just taught all this crap that brainwashes us. And I'm fed up with it. I really am fed up with it. We really could have a beautiful life here on this planet. A lot of us just want a simple life. Nice house. Feed our kids. Cuddle our friends and family and have a bit of fun. And all this stoking up a division on so many levels and this perpetual crisis. I've had enough. I'm fucking fed up. And I just pray to God. And I'm prepared to do something as well that we're gonna resolve this because this is just a an absolute disgrace. It's a disgrace. That's what I'm saying.